Hey, it's Holly. Welcome to Living It Country. Today we have another beautiful fall farmhouse to tour today, and I am so excited to be sharing this awesome, amazing duo from We Dabble on Instagram. They are so talented with their DIY projects and their home decorating, so I am so thrilled to be sharing them today. I also wanna share with you guys my friends over at Anchored Northwest Candle Co. I'm gonna grab it really quick. You guys are definitely gonna want to check out this deal. So darling, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, if you guys love that farmhouse style, you guys are gonna love Anchored Northwest Candle Co. I've shared them multiple times on my channel before, but they just sent me this. How sweet is that? It is their farmhouse strutzel candle in this gorgeous rustic tin and I'm just obsessed. They gave me a discount code to share with you guys and we just did a fun giveaway on Instagram. So if you guys want to follow us over on Instagram, make sure you guys do. Um, so I just wanted to share this and say thank you to them because it was so kind of them to send this to me. So if you guys want to check them out, it'll be in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's welcome We Dabble here today. Let's tour their home and make sure to give them a follow on their Instagram account in the links down below too. Welcome to our home, which was built in 1966. It is a colonial home um, out here. We did do all the paint in blue. Uh, I kept my fall decor very simple. I do get mums um, the beginning of September. They are blooming and beautiful right now. The scarecrow was made by my oldest daughter. Uh, she made it and gifted it to me a couple years ago. Uh, the ferns, I always get ferns in the spring and they do last well into fall. Uh, my husband and a friend put the door in and we did put the light and the numbers and mailbox as well. So come on in. As you walk in, you walk into our foyer. And this basically, we also DIY the shiplap all the way around. Um, I'll show you on this side where the keys go. And um, over here, my husband, I felt we needed something in this corner here. So my husband and I built this uh, seating here, this little area, which I absolutely love, right by the stairs. So. Um, I think I'll go this way with you. I'm sorry if I'm making you a little dizzy, but this way here. Uh, this is our sitting room, living room. The pew I got from Facebook Market. Uh, it is from an, a church, which is like 100 years old or so. Um, also the lockers here in this corner I got from Facebook Market. I DIY that little stool down there, basically, and um, turning you around. This is the sitting room. Mario and I did the wall uh, that is plywood, sheets of plywood that are supposed to be used outside for building. And um, we put them up, make it look like shiplap. Uh, also, the fireplace is a DIY by my husband. I wanted a fireplace, a faux fireplace in here at that um, and in this little corner here we have the arch windows from antique farmhouse and the top arch up there um, actually that was something that we I had Mario I had a crazy idea me and my crazy ideas <laughs> I had him take a piece of an old dresser that was in our bedroom that was ready to be thrown out um, take the top off of it and put it up here, which I absolutely love how that turned out. And then I'll bring you over here. We put these up here, these little corbels on the windows. Purchased and painted that little dresser there. This little corner here, he just put the shelf up for me. Um, you can take a better look at the fireplace here. I love how this turned out. This little corner here has our record player and plants. I do love plants, so you'll see a lot of plants throughout our home. Then you come into our dining room, which we also um, did the shiplap all the way throughout. The two paintings on either side of the um, credenza there, the dresser, I'm sorry, not the dresser, but the credenza is um, those I found on Facebook Market as well. The hanging scale 
was a gift from my father-in-law. I absolutely love it. Um, so the table I found on Facebook Market for free. Uh, I also did get the bench from there recently. I do plan on making a cushion for it. And over here, I did a plate and basket wall. Um, and the faux fireplace is from Decor Steels. I did do the insert with the faux tile. I DIY'd that, it was super simple. They were stick on and um, over here is our kitchen, but I wanna show you this corner first, this here which is also another area where I keep a lot of my vintage find, vintage treasures, and we um, placed that uh, little cabinet up against the wall, baker's rack on top. So we also did DIY the um, chalkboard. This way you come into our kitchen, which is pretty white and also completely DIY by us. Um, we did the ship lap. We, uh, my husband took an old table we had with the stools and he kind of broke it apart and uh, made a bench, well, made a table up against the wall and we kept the stools. Um, I found this beautiful door, um, which is a Dutch door on Craigslist. Uh, it was completely dark brown. My husband and I stripped it. He sanded it down for me. Um, we got the hardware at Home Depot, basically, and we painted the entire kitchen and cabinets alabaster white by Sherwin-Williams. We DIY'd our um, island. As you can see, our kitchen is small. It's not that big, so um, I don't have a lot of counter space. So we took the cabinets out of this side here, and my husband made the shelves for me. Um, and then uh, we decided I decided I wanted to hide the microwave. So the microwave is above the stove up there where you see that. My husband took the doors off the cabinets that were up there, if you can picture that, and um, kind of built it out and made this, um, this door that opens up. It does open up and the microwave is inside that. Um, then this is our coat closet. This here is just the station where we have the calendar and Basically, that's about it. I like to keep my copper pots hanging there. Um, also, this is the pantry. My husband DIY'd the door to make a simple door look like, you know, a nice, I don't know, different kind of door, nice farmhouse-ish door, if you will. Anyway, this is the kitchen. So, here I keep my tier tray, I have some apples on it for fall, and I do plan on changing the floral picture above, maybe to some apples or something, I'm not sure yet, but this is our coffee bar. Um, yeah, so this is it. We did have a budget when we redid the kitchen. We also put the floors in, if you see the floors, they are um, laminate floors, we put those in. Our budget was about five to six hundred dollars, um, which was perfect. We did also put in new lighting here. So, and if you come this way, um, I will take you into our family room. And in this room, we basically um, just put shiplap on the back wall. I do have a little seating nook over here, a little chair, cozy little area for me, but my daughter spends a lot of time in this corner. She likes sitting there reading books, etc. Um, a lot of our pieces are basically found at thrift stores, um, revamped. The coffee table I painted and sanded the top. My husband helped me do that. Um, also, uh, the table here, the side table I painted. Um, over on this side, you will see our fireplace and the TV which we framed out uh, this desk is here because our youngest would um, do virtual school here um, when we were home for COVID but I did DIY this little table here to make it look kind of like it has three drawers but really it just opens up I did do the um, 
fireplace, also the cover. My husband, German, smeared the wall for me. Um, he framed out the, the top and he put the tiles in down at the bottom. From another project we had going on upstairs. Um, that's basically it for here. Then if you turn here, I kept it really simple in here, didn't do too much for fall. Just a little pumpkin on the coffee table, which I think is fine. And then if you come in through here, this is the um, door to go into our garage. And in this little hallway, um, there's a laundry room and a half bath to the right. Mario did install every single one of these bricks in herringbone style from the laundry room all the way to the half bathroom. So this is our laundry room. It's very small. Um, I had an idea to do the wood up top of the window. I didn't want any curtains in here because it's just such a small space. But we did the shiplap, the light up on top. We also DIY the top here, this wooden top. He and I both did this. Um, we stained it, uh, put poly on it, and just placed it here to fold clothes, etc. Um, our water heater, we don't have a basement, so our water heater is behind this cabinet that you see here. And the barn door, the sliding door, if you will, actually my husband um, took the door that used to be here and made it just a little bigger and um, put the entire kit together and placed it there. We recently finished this little hallway. I used rub and buff on that um, lighting that you see up there. We did this little corner here, which is right by the half bathroom. You can see that the brick continues into the half bath, which we also um, completely DIY'd. Uh, you can take a look at this better this way. I styled this, I put that little owl into a frame and made these from um, dry uh, leaves and florals. Um, and we go into the half bathroom. He completely shiplapped the entire half bathroom as well. Um, we did install this uh, cabinet. I do want to change it, um, but for now it's fine. Then this is a mirror that I found at the habitat and the um, lighting. I believe I found at Lowe's. Um, I didn't do any decorating in here, but this is basically the half bathroom. It's very hard to pick, uh, take pictures of it and kind of record in here because it is a small space as well. But um, yeah, that is it. So you can see that. And basically, you walk back out into our family room. And I will show you um, the outside. Bring you this way so you could see the outside of our home. Um, our backyard is pretty big. The deck is huge. <laughs> we did sand it down and um, stain it. We had this little area here. We both love to sit out here and talk. Um, this over here, our pergola, we actually DIY'd. Uh, my husband worked very hard on this. We put up um, plastic that you use when you're um, like doing greenhouses, I believe. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but we also um, did the trellis in the back there. Um, yeah, we basically show you this way and then you could see here, uh, we painted the credenza and the table, which used to belong to my brother and his wife. Um, and they were getting rid of it, so we took it. And um, it was perfect because our table had actually broken out here. Um, I brought this little chair out here. My husband gifted me this um, chimenea for my birthday. Um, this year and um, we used to have a pool over there but we took it out 
That is our daughter's playhouse. Um, over there we have the um, the tree with a swing and um, usually we come out here and relax and lay down, etc. You maybe turn around and come this way. We have a complete concrete floor, which we did ourselves, my husband did actually, with some friends um, and a couple of family members. And um, the fire pit was also uh, put there by him. My, um, the top of it, he and I DIY this past summer. Um, we do have the lights up against the fence, which is our neighbor's fence. Um, the fence, actually the white fence you see around our property, um, we installed ourselves. Yeah, um, we've done a lot here. My husband does plan on building a, um, a shed back there where you see that little Jeep. So, um, take you around here. My husband put up this little, um, wooden box up against the window so I could put plants there for the summer, etc. Um, I plan on maybe putting a few pumpkins in it. And these huge galvanized buckets were given to us by his dad. I absolutely love them. The mums come out every year. Um, and uh, I love how they look. And that's this side over here. We have a little bed here. Um, we did plant a couple of rose bushes on the end there, which I'm hoping do well by next year. Just planted those this summer so uh, yeah that's this side so that you can see basically this is the yard you come in this way I'll show you the other side this side is very simple as well um, but I do love how this entire space turned out out here it's nice to come out here at night or during the day, have family over. We truly enjoy it. Plan on someday putting a greenhouse up in that corner over there. Um, but this is this side so you could see as well. We do have a fence over here that um, we use to bring in mulch, etc. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, can I tell you uh, basically this is it and I'm, we're also hoping to someday put possibly a waterfall of some sort with rocks over there in the corner behind the um, the swing you see those a couple of rocks on the floor there with the greenery next to it we may put a little waterfall over there someday Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tour and thank you so much for watching. Thank you again, Holly. Um. A big thank you to We Dabble for sharing their gorgeous home with us today. I hope you all enjoyed it just as much as I did and I will see you guys later on Living It Country. Bye.